Why we need to use substitution method? In the integration process, it might be easy to integrate such a simple polynomial expression, but what if we've been given a complicated integral that involves trigonometry, ln, and exponential? By that, this substitution rule will allow us to solve such a complicated integrand by simplifying some of the portion with the letter of u. Before we go deeper to the lessons of today, let's do a recap about an integrations of a simple polynomial. So, let's go! In integrating a simple polynomial, we will follow such a basic algorithm, which is when we integrate x with the power of n, x the power will be increased by 1 and we will divide it with the new power and not to forget about the constants of the integration. For the better understanding, let's do some example. When we integrate x with the power of 4 dx, x, the power will be increased by 1 and will be divided with a new power and not to forget about the constant. So, the final answer will be x with the power of 5 over 5 plus c. So, that's all. So, let's see some example in indefinite integrals. So, we will be proceed to the next example, which is example 1, that involves the integrations of polynomial. The question is, let's reintegrate x x to the power of 2 minus 3 with the power of 5 dx. Based on the question that been given, we can let u equals to x squared minus 3. When we differentiate u with respect to x, it will be 2x. And then we can let dx as the subject. So, the answer will be du over 2x. After we get u equals to x squared minus 3 and also dx equals to du over 2x, we need to sub in it back into the original function and we get integration x u with the power of 5 multiplied du over 2x. And then we can simply cancel out the terms of x and we get integration u with the power of 5 multiplies 1 over 2 du. From this function, we can bring out 1 over 2. So it can we can simply integrate u with the power of 5. And it will be u with the power of 6 over 6. And then we need to sub in back 1 over 2 into the bracket so we can get u with the power of 6 over 12 plus c. After we get u with the power of 6 over 12 plus c, we need to sub in back the value of u into the equation, which is u equals to x squared minus 3, back into the equation. So we can get the value of x squared minus 3 with the power of 6 over 12 plus c. So, this will be the final answer. So, we will be proceed to the next example, which is example 2. That will be consists an exponent and also a polynomial in the questions. So, the question is, let's we integrate x exponent x squared dx. From this question, we can let u equals to x squared. From here, and after that, we need to differentiate u with respect to x. So the answer will be 2x. And then, we can let dx as the subject. So the answer will be du over 2x. From here, we finally have the terms of u and also the terms of dx. So, we sub the terms of u and also dx back to the original expression. So, it will be like this. Integrate x exponent u 
times du over 2x and then from here we can cancel out the terms of x and it will be like this integrations of e exponent u times 1 over 2 du and then we need to bring 1 over 2 out from the integration expression so it will be like this 1 over 2 integrate exponent u du and then we can simply integrate exponent u and it will be like this 1 over 2 exponent u plus c so from this expression 1 over 2 exponent u plus c we need to change the terms of u back to its original terms which is u equals to x squared and then it we will get exponent with the power of x squared over 2 plus c so this will be the final answer so we will be proceed to the next example which involve an integration of polynomial and also the expression of ln x so the question that we've been given is let's we integrate ln x over x dx from this question we can let u equals to ln x and then we need to differentiate u with respect to x and the answer will be 1 over x and then we can let dx as the subject so the answer will be x du so after we find the terms of u equals to ln x and also dx equals to x du we need to sub these two terms back to the original equations so it will be like this integration u over x times x du so from here we can simply cancel out the terms of x so the expression will be like this integrate u du and then we need to integrate the equation so it will be like this u with the power of 2 over 2 plus c after we have done the integration operation we need to sub the terms of u back to its original term which is u equals to ln x so the answer will be ln x with the power of 2 over 2 plus c so this will be the final answer finally we have come to the last example which involve an integration of trigonometric so the question is let we integrate tangent x dx from this question it might be hard for you to integrate it directly so we can change the terms of a tangent x into sine x over cos x dx so from this expression we need to let u equals to cos x which is this one and then we need to differentiate u with respect to x and the answer will be negative sine x after that we let dx as the subject so it will be du over negative sine x after we found the terms u equals to cos x and also the dx equals to du over negative sine x we need to sub these two terms back to its original equation so we get this one so integrate sine x over u times negative du over sine x and then from this expression we can simply cancel out the sine x and it will be like this 
integration negative 1 over u du so from here we can simply integrate it so we get negative ln u plus c after we get negative ln u plus c we need to change the terms u back to its original terms which is u equals to cos x so it will be negative ln cos x plus c substitution methods also can be applied in definite integral so let's see some example Next, we will be proceed to the next example, which is example 1, for the definite integral. So, the question that been given is, let we integrate with the upper limits 2 and the lower limits 1, 1 over 3 minus 5x square dx. The difference for this question from the previous questions is, this question we have a limit here which shows that this is a definite integral so to solve this kind of questions we need to solve the integration first before we sub in the value of the limits first of all we need to let u equals to 3 minus 5x which is this one after we let u equals to 3 minus 5x, we need to differentiate u with respect to x, so it will be negative 5. And then, we need to let dx as the subject, so dx will be du over negative 5. After we get the terms of u equals to 3 minus 5x and also the terms of dx equals to du over negative 5, we need to put these two terms back to the original expression. So it will be like this integrating upper limit 2 and lower limit 1, 1 over u square times du over negative 5 so we need to bring negative 5 out from the integration expression so it will be like this negative 1 over 5 integration with the upper limits 2 and lower limits 1 1 over u square du so after that we can simply integrate 1 over u square and then it will be like this negative 1 over 5 times negative 1 over u with the upper limits 2 and also up lower limits 1 after, after that, that for this from expression, this expression it is, it is in, in terms, terms of, of u, u. So, so we cannot, we sub, cannot in sub in the value of limit directly the into the expression so we need to so change, u, need to back change to u back to its back original to its terms, terms which is, which is u, u equals to 3 minus 5x so it will be like this negative 1, negative one, one over 5 negative 1 over 3 minus 5x with the upper limits 2, 2 and the lower limits 1. 1 and then and we, then we finally can sub the value of the limit into the expression and then it will be like this. and then it will be like this negative, negative 1, 1 over 5 negative 1 over bracket 3 minus 5 times 2 minus, minus bracket negative 1 over bracket 3 minus 5 times 1 and then we need and to solve then the we need to solve the, the all the operation the things into uh, <laughs> uh, and 
and then it will be like this negative 1 over 5 times 1 over 7 minus 1 over 2 and then we solve the operation and then the answer will be 1 over 14 as the final answer but not to forget we also have an alternative way to solve the definite integrals without changing the terms of u back to its original terms. So the solution will be like this. By referring to the previous solution without changing the terms u back into its original terms, we can change the limit becomes in terms of u. To change the limits in terms of u, we can use this as a guideline. u equals to 3 minus 5x. So the solution is when x equals to 1, u equals to negative 2. And when x equals to 2, u equals to negative 7. And this will change the terms of x into u. And then, when you already change the limits in terms of u, you can finally integrate the expression like this. And then, from the limits, we can sub the value of the limits into the expression so it will be like this after we solve all the operation the final answer will be the same which is 1 over 14 so it's time for quizzing students so to make all of you guys become more understand about the topic of integrations by using substitutions method so let's do some quizzes so I need all of you guys open your device and go to this website joinmyquiz.com and enter the game code 5 at 6158 so enjoy
So to make all of you guys clear about the subtopic that we have learned before, uh, we need to discuss several questions from the quiz that you have done. So I pick questions at that tells that you need to choose the correct cue to solve the following integral by using some division method. So we have been given a simple integral to be integrated later. So we need to choose a correct U because that is the most important things in substitution method. So the answer would be U equals to X squared as the answer. So for now, I can tell that most of you guys have done well by choosing a correct U and one players have chosen a wrong U. So this might, this you guys need to avoid. So here for Kahoot segment, I want all of you guys to separate and find your team so you guys can discuss among your friends and then play the games together. So here is the pin number 3389744 and I want all of you guys to log into the game by using this code. So enjoy! Thank <laughs> you. 